Welcome to DNR's Burn Portal Tutorials. Uh, in this video, I'll demonstrate setting up your SAW account and setting up your profile. Uh, when you first come into uh, our Burn Portal, if you've never had an account before, you'll need to set one up. Uh, you can click the login information here uh, and it will take you to Secure Access Washington. Once you're in the Secure Access Washington site, you'll need to sign up here. Um, this will allow you to create an account you enter in your first name, your last name, your email, what your username you want is, uh, passwords. Um, and then you will receive a confirmation email uh, from Secure Access Washington. There will be a link that uh, needs to be clicked on to verify your account um, and, and uh, get it up and running. Once you have done that, you will need to log into SAW and then you'll need to add a new service. You need to go straight through Secure Access Washington to do this. You will get rejected uh, as not having a valid account if you try and go through the burn portal to do this. So coming through Secure Access Washington, log in. You need to click on add a new service. Uh, you can click browsing by a list of agencies or by name. Um, we're just going to go straight through by name. Scroll down to Burn Portal, Wildfire Smoke Management Application, and hit Apply. Once you have done that, it will take you back to this screen. You can click on the Access Now to take you directly to the Burn Portal, or you can go to the Burn Portal itself and log in. Once you first log in, this is the screen that you'll be presented with. This is the profile screen. This is where you have the opportunity to uh, add alert preferences, change what your person type is, um, add an agency, uh, set your preferred contact method, all, all kinds of things. Um, your name as it is entered into Secure Access, Access Washington will show up here. Um, if you enter a middle initial in SAW, it will bring your middle initial in as the last name. Um, you can change that through Secure Access Washington. Your person type uh, is right here. Um, if you are burning on your own land, uh, have no intentions of burning on, uh, on anybody else's land as an agent, uh, you need to set yourself up as private landowner and save it. Uh, the save button right over here will be there for every for uh, every piece. You have the option with these uh, icons here to change your alert preferences. Um, if you provide a uh, mobile phone number and uh, choose to receive text messages, you can for uh, any of these statuses. So once your burn permit application is submitted, you can receive a notice. Uh, once it has been approved and accepted, you can receive a notice under review uh, if it is denied, et cetera. But you can choose uh, whether or not you would like to receive a, a notification and how you would like that uh, in this section. One thing that is required, um, there must be an address and a phone number entered in here for the system to work properly. properly. Uh, this is how we're going to be able to send uh, permits to you um, if they need to be sent uh, paper copies, um, how we're going to be able to call if there's an issue with a burn. Um, so this has to be filled out. It will not let you finish an application without having an address and a phone number set in. Um, so you, you'll want to click on the icon to open it up, add a new address once you're finished entering it in. on the save, oh, I didn't like the space. Uh, you will see those red icons show up if there's something that's wrong that doesn't fit with, uh, with what the system is expecting. Um, it just means that something needs to be changed. So it, like that address, it's taken it. Um, it's not gonna verify that it's an actual address, just that it meets the criteria. Uh, same with the phone number. Uh, we're gonna put a mobile number in here. 
If you would like to receive text alerts, this box needs to be checked to yes. Um, anywhere where you see this little eye icon right here uh, can provide some extra information. So it says check yes if the phone should be used to receive SMS text alerts. Make sure to include a correct country code in order to receive the alerts. Uh, that piece is no longer required. And again, hit save and your profile is complete. Um, you would now be able to create uh, applications. If you are working for an agency, uh, you're working for a company on somebody else's behalf, uh, land that is not your own, um, you need to select agent. And at that point in time, it will ask for an agency that you work for. This can be your company, this can be a county um, agency, this can be uh, uh, your own, um, uh, your own LLC, but uh, we need to have something in here. Um, if it doesn't show up, you start typing in uh, your logging company, and there's nothing that shows up. We need to have an email to set up the company. Uh, we'll get it in as fast as we can, and then you'll be able to be uh, in as a verified agent. Otherwise, if you start typing, your company shows up. You can select it, hit save, and you'll receive this notification that your verification is pending. We have to make sure that you actually work for this uh, organization before we'll allow you to go through and create permits on their behalf. The other type that's in here is government agency. This is for federal employees. Um, those that work for county government, state government, um, need to be signed up as agents. If we need your agency information here and you need to send us an email uh, stating that your agency needs to be added, uh, we do want an agency name, an address, a phone number, and if there is an email that we can use, um, we need to have that as well so that we have uh, all, the, all the pieces necessary for the permits to be filled out. 